All right, so we finished painting today. It looks really good. Yeah, so what do you think about it? I love it. I have so much brighter already. Yeah. So yeah. the walls weren't bad, and actually a lot of you commented that you really loved the wall color. Now, was that, you picked that wall color, we right? We did, initially, yeah. What was really cool about it, though, Megan was telling me, is that this room actually had wallpaper in it, and quite a wallpaper, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pine green with like medallions and a, a border. It was so just really like heavy traditional. Yeah, it was so dark. Yeah, so dark. Very but dark. they couldn't get it off the walls, so they actually painted over it. Yes. Right, and I never would have guessed that. So that was I, that was surprising to me. Yeah, my mom has a friend who's a professional painter, and he said you should be able to get a good primer and cover it and it wouldn't be a problem so yeah but it doesn't look bubbled sometimes when you paint no. over wallpaper it can bubble and do weird things but yeah. anyway so um i thought that was really interesting that they that they did that we painted the walls in a color called gray owl by benjamin moore and actually i mentioned that color to her and you actually had a can of it, right? Yeah, I didn't know where I was going to use it, but I was like, I love this paint, it's coming home, we'll find a place. Right, yeah. so that was perfect. So we, we used it, it didn't take even a gallon, and we did do oh. two coats. Mm -hmm. And in the back wall, we painted in the chalkboard paint, um, which is still drying, so it looks a little streaky still, but that'll be a nice matte black. And we're actually going to season the chalkboard by rubbing chalk on it, so it really looks like a chalkboard and not like a black wall. So that's something that we're going to do. We couldn't wait to clip the fabric up. And some of you were a little concerned about the fabric with the wall color, because we've got kind of a cool wall color and a warmer fabric. Um, but the green really ties it together. And if you saw the other pictures of Megan's house, it just she's got a lot of the, these sort of sage and olive greens going on. So these curtains really tie into that. And you're, you like them, don't you? I love it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if she didn't like them, I was like fully prepared. I have like four sofas. I need to do a full search. I was like, well, I'll just keep it. For the first stuff. I may even just order more because I really like it too. So these are some of the elements that we're bringing into the room. So we have this one pillow from a chair that you bought. How much was the chair again? $15. $15. Craigslist. So we're going to still cover some of the chair and the, the cream curtains that we hacked apart. Mm -hmm. and But we're going to keep one this one pillow because I think it, it sort of lends an eclectic feel to yeah. the room. Um, and what a great old fabric, like kind of a yeah. 1940s bark cloth yeah. kind of fabric. So we're going to use this, but these aren't the main colors of the room. This is just a little accent. And Megan just showed me, which was so cool, she has these plates that... So what's the story about my these again? My grandmother gave them to me um, when she, I guess during the war, she went to college and then got her first job in a department store and she used her first paycheck to buy those for her mother as a gift to say thanks for supporting her. So I love them. I wanted a place mm -hmm. with them that I didn't know where yet. So, so we're going to mix these into a gallery wall that we make in the corner where the camera's sitting right now actually. We're going to have a little reading chair, this, this chair. And I think after Actually, the colors are, you know, they kind of tie together. Again, a couple sort of eclectic elements tying together in the room. And then I found this window frame for like, I think it was $2. So I thought, well, if Megan hates it, that's fine. I'll use it for something else. But we're going to use this for the um, inspiration board that's going to go over her desk. So we're going to cut out a few pieces of metal to fit inside the panes and then she can use that, maybe use one pane for a calendar and use another one for family pictures or however you want to divide it up. Um, so we decided we're going to go ahead and use that. Um, so if you're putting a room together, it's a great idea like after you paint it to, to do what we're doing, sort of gather a few of the elements of the room. Like we actually took turns holding the window frame up to see how we liked it. We even though this is just fabric, we just clipped this here just to get a visual for like, is this working? Does it look good? Do we like it in the space? Um, because if not, you can change direction. Yeah, if we put the curtains up and Megan was just like, um, I, I trust you, <laughs> then yeah. maybe we rethink it a little bit. So, um, so I'm excited to see how the direction of the room is going to go. We have some more elements to work on at the studio and then um, hopefully next time we're in this room, we'll be putting a lot of it in place and seeing it come together. I can't wait. Yep. Hey. <laughs>